Hey y'all, welcome back to George Cooking for the Soul. Today I'm going to make a meatloaf with the tomato sauce glaze. And here in this pan I have three pounds of ground beef. I already added two eggs to it. Got one there, one, one in, over there. Okay, I got a, a whole bell pepper and two medium sized onion that I'm going to blend up in the blender. And I have three slices of bread and some milk here soaking. Then I have a, I have a can, a half a, a half a 16 ounce can of tomato sauce right here in this container. I have some rooster sauce, accent, Italian seasoning, a lot of seasoned salt, black pepper. I'm going to season with. Also, I'm going to use some basil leaves, some onion powder, garlic powder, and oregano. That's going to be the seasoning for the meatloaf. And also, I have a package of this meatloaf seasoning. I'm going to give that a try today. I haven't, I had never put that in there before, but I'm going to try it today. Okay? I hope everybody's doing well. I want to thank all my new subscribers that I'm getting some. I'm getting new subscribers each and every day. I appreciate you all support. I appreciate my old sub subscriber. I appreciate everybody. Okay, thank you for your uh, for subscribing, and thanks for your for y'all support. I'm gonna be back right now. I'm gonna go and uh, blend up the onions and the bell pepper. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I already I have already added. The bell pepper and the onion and the two eggs. I'm going to add three slices of bread. Now y'all are just going to mix, put some, mix all the ingredients together. Uh, now add some large seasoned salt. You want your meatloaf season. You don't want to over season it, but you want it, do want to season. This is some accent. Worcestershire sauce. Some Worcestershire sauce. Okay, you just shake much of that you want. It, no measurements. Some black pepper. You're just going to add this stuff to your own taste. Okay, right here is the Italian seasoning. Oregano, my favorite. Okay, put a lot of that in now. This is garlic powder. Put some onion powder. Okay, I changed my mind on the um. Uh, yeah, I think I might put some basil. Still. Because it be it looked like a lot, but it take a lot when you're making ground beef to get it get it seasoned. And it don't be as much as you be thinking. You think it is the way it look. It just look like it will be a lot. Okay, now I'm gonna put my I'm gonna mix this up before I use that package because I may not use that package. I'm not used to adding that to my meatloaf. I'm not going to use it. Okay. 
Okay. I'm move this casserole dish over. I'm gonna turn this out over in here. And just shape it into a loaf. Okay. I'll take move this over. Okay, for the glaze. I'm just gonna um I'm gonna just gonna add some brown sugar. You're gonna take you're gonna um add it to and taste it to your sweetness. How, you know how sweet you want it. You get the sweetness to your liking. Okay, I'll add it probably about two tablespoons right there. And maybe one. All you're just gonna do is just add brown sugar to it, pour it over your, your meatloaf, put it in a 375 degree oven, and bake until it's done. It's probably gonna take about three hours. Or two and a half. Okay, now I want, I'm adding two tablespoons to that. Okay. Pour it over here, all over the meatloaf. Okay. I'm putting a three three seventy five degree oven, y'all, and I'll let it bake. I'll be back. Okay, y'all, here's the meatloaf, and I have some mashed potatoes with the, um, the glaze over it. And uh, what I did, I put a thickener on the, the gravy. And give it a try. It tastes really good. I want to thank y'all for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And after watching this video, if you like it, give me a thumbs up, okay? See y'all next time. Bye-bye.